Waffle charts are a quick way to display percentile data in a more, um, what's the word, in a nice pictorial way and uh, sometimes are better than pie charts in that they show um, distinct portions of that greater whole. Here's one I prepared earlier, so I'll just do, say, let's just type in 50%, like so. And then I'm going to run my macro, like so. And there we go, that's our waffle chart. So the main principle of this being, if I just make this a bit bigger, the percentage you type in here is then reflected in your chart. So a bit like... Um, like a tree chart, I suppose. You have, oops, you have a 10 by 10 grid, and then whatever percentage is in here, um, obviously rounded to the nearest uh, percent, is then reflected in this chart, like so. How is this created? Well, um, if I reveal, uh, what's hidden behind the scenes? I think it's is it on this one. So essentially, what this is is a grid of cells, ten by ten, and in each of these cells, it gradually increments by one percent. So from zero one, all the way through to one. This cell here is just a reference to the original cell here that we wanted to. Uh, use for our um, numbers and then finally this is this effect is achieved um, very simply through a conditional formatting rule which observes this uh, 10 by 10 grid looks for the value in this uh, cell here being less than or equal to the value of that particular cell in the grid. And where it's true, then we'll highlight that cell. And so to get this uh, this image here, this rescalable image and stuff, oops. So to get this um, at your border, let's do like, uh, like so. So this behaves like a picture basically but what this is is it's what's called a linked picture which is a view on these cells it's exactly like you have on uh, web pages with iframes where the iframe is displaying another page this is basically a, a, a live view of these cells here. So if I was to color these in a different color, um, like so, you can see they're showing through. So that's pretty much it. Um, what I will do is I'll show you I've created a quick um, VBA script to create one of these. So yeah, all you have to do is select a single cell Obviously, with this um, this script open, select the cell, type in a value, hit the uh, the macros button, run the macro, and then you'll get a new um, new chart, which then will be linked to this cell. Um, what it's doing behind the scenes is again, if I unhide the most recent one. It's just creating another sheet, a hidden sheet, with a range of cells here. And I'll just show you how it's done. If I select these cells here, go copy, and if I go back to my main sheet here, uh, and if I right click and go paste special, and then in this menu down here, oops, you've got an option called linked picture. And that's exactly what this is. All, all this does, is again like act like a portal through to this this range um, and something with a linked picture if you want to change the range it refers to you can actually do that dynamically like so um, and then that refers to a different range uh, that's it